Okay, we are about to begin uh, to solve word problems um, using bar models. And so or I'm going to model how to um, read a word problem and then uh, visually show the information um, and then begin to solve it based on what you see. All right, so the first step in doing any word problem is to definitely read the problem um, just to make sense of what's being asked of you and to get all the information out. So let's first read this problem. It says, Kayla did 88 sit-ups in the morning. Nakira did 32 sit-ups at night. How many more sit-ups did Kyla do than Nakira? That's Kyla, by the way. Okay, so thinking about this, we first want to check and see, is this a problem um, where we are dealing with um, comparing? Comparing has to do with more than or less than. Uh, if we're being told anything more than or anything less than, we know it's going to be a comparing problem, and therefore we do have to set it up um, very different from a part whole. Um, for more information on what a part whole bar model looks like, you can look at the videos on um, bar entitled Bar Modeling um, Part Whole. So, we know that there are two people involved. There's Kyla and there is Nakira. So whenever we set up a problem and it's a comparing problem, we do have to give um, each person their own bar. And I know this is a comparing problem because um, it says how many more sit-ups did Kyla do than Nakira. So that this is a comparing problem because one person has more than the other. The other person um, has less than the other as well. Okay, so we have Kyla and Nakira. Kyla did 88 sit-ups in the morning. So I'm going to draw a bar. A bar is simply a rectangle. Um, it's like a thickened number line. And this will represent how many sit-ups Kyla did. And then you draw a brace from the beginning of this until the very end. And you label how much it's worth. This is worth 88. And we know these are sit-ups. Okay, that's Kyla's sit-ups in the morning. I've taken care of that. So let me put a check by it just to let myself know that I did um, take care of that piece of information. Next, I go to Nakira. Nakira's right here. Nakira did 32 sit-ups at night. Now, I know that 32 is a smaller number than 88. So I'm going to draw the bar smaller than 88. Okay, and I know that this bar is thirty-two. This represents Nakira's sit-ups right here. The question is asking me how many more sit-ups did Kyla do than Nakira. So that means I'm being asked how much more did Kyla do than Nakira. So I'm being asked for information in this area right here. Not in this area, in this space right here. So from the end of Nakira to the end of Kyla, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's my question. That's where the question mark is, so I put the question mark right there. Okay, now I know that this is what they have in common. So I draw a dotted line here just to show that this is where uh, Nakira, this is where Nakira ends. So up until this point, I know that it's 32. I'm trying to figure out how many more sit-ups Kyla did. Um, so this is the part that I'm trying to figure out right here. If you notice uh, what I said, I said part. Um, so this is, if you think of a number bond, this would be the, the total. This would be one part that makes up the total. And this would be the other part. So because I am uh, solving a missing part problem, this is going to be subtraction or a missing add end problem. All right, so subtraction, I always start with the whole 88 minus 32 equals, and we'll figure out the answer uh, in a little bit. Uh, but what I, I do want to say is that once you've made your drawing and you've placed the question mark next to the piece of information you're trying to find, you then have to write a number sentence. 
and the number sentence that I've written is 88 minus 32 equals and now I'm gonna figure out the answer I'm gonna figure out the answer by thinking about what 32 is made up of because I want to subtract 32 from 88 and I know that it's 30 and 2 so 32 is made up of 3 tens and 2 ones alright I'm gonna take away 3 tens from 88 that leaves me with uh, 58 and then I'm gonna take away 2 ones so I'm gonna count backwards just twice um, 57 56 so the answer to that is 56 and as you can see, I use some mental math strategies there for you. Okay, so I have a complete number sentence, uh, 56. That is the answer to this question here. And uh, before you finish, even though you have the number sentence complete, uh, you do need to put it in a complete sentence. So how many more sit-ups did Kyla do than Nakira? Kyla did 56 more sit-ups than Nakira. Okay, so here we have three components of a proper uh, bar model. First, you draw the picture, uh, you draw a model of it, then you write a number sentence and then you solve to find the answer, and then you answer the actual question you were trying to find um, in a complete sentence. That is a comparing problem um, and for more information on other bar models please look at the other videos on part whole.